Um, I think, you know, yes, I, th I think there's many other resources for artists to, um, to go and teach or, or get involved with. Why here at SKB? Two, two reasons, really. This is, this is a very, very mentoring organisation, not just for children, but also for adults. And the people who are here, the, the beauty of this is if somebody comes to my class, they're going to learn to paint like me and take away with them 10% probably of what they want and, 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 and paint themselves when they get home uh, in that style. Here, you've got a variety of instructors, so it's more like a seminar. And you've got a variety of instructors, and you can go from one to the other. You don't have to be locked in on one person's class. You can move, you can go to John Pitcher, then you can come down and watch me, watch Mort Solberg, you know, and then Everett yesterday, you know. So is it, there's a real cross-section of what you can do. And a lot of the artists who come here, from what I understand, don't really know what they want to do. They work in a certain medium, but they're not sure. So this is a guidance. And with, with you know, Jim, what Jim's done, uh, you know, <laughs> initially was to make this very affordable for students to come in with, with food, accommodation, the whole thing, and the whole package is such a great deal. And I don't know of one that, that sort of matches it. And I heard about it for about two years, SKB, to get to it. Because I knew Susan. She was a student of mine. I think three times she came to three of my classes. And Susan, Susan did all the classes, all the workshops. She did them all. You know, every time I saw her, she'd been to half a dozen more work, workshops, you know. And I said, you're going to be a professional student, the way you do it all. But she focused in eventually on what she wanted to do, which was floral. But she only did that by going to different workshops. This, which is a great thing that Jen set this up in her honour, in her name, because she was the epitome of the type of person that they're trying to help here. So um, here, instead of her going to different workshops, people going to different workshops, she got it all under one roof. And then you've got the plein air, which you're here in a beautiful location. It's, it's got everything to offer. And you can go out and paint, or you can sit in here. Or well, like today, John Pitcher is going to be down at the creek at the back, and he's going to put some birds in because he thinks he's seen some down there. And some students are going to watch him paint, or maybe do the same. So that's, that's wonderful. Heiner's out probably somewhere else, and, and so on. So you have a choice. People write on the board every day what they're going to do, and it's unique. And I heard about it for two years, and I thought, oh no, you know, I've got enough to do. You know, I've got lots of classes, and I've got shows and stuff like that. And and this always con uh, conflicted in a way with the Arts Week in Jackson Hole, and I've been part of Trailside Galleries for nearly thirty years, twenty odd years anyway. And uh, so I always like to be involved in that, and it conflicts. It's, it's this week that it's on. So I have to leave today to go to the show. Yeah. So, but it's nice to put, put it in, and the people are so generous. And Jim, what Jim Parkman's done is just amazing. I mean, he is, he is really the, uh, the glue that holds this whole thing together. And Pam and Lee Cable are amazing. I mean, Lee is very quiet in the background and everything, but he, he works very hard to make this happen. And, and Pam, of course, is just uh, awesome. She really does pull it all together. So it's because of those people, you know. And I remember Lee years ago saying he wanted to do a class or, or do set something up. And so he came to one of my classes at Beartooth. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a pain in the ass as a student. <laughs> anyway. uh, but he, he came there and, uh, you know, he said that we want to set something up in Colorado. And I guess that was the one they did in Divide initially. And, uh, and it's grown from there. So it's gradually getting a good reputation. All my students that I do teach privately in my master classes in Florida or elsewhere, we always, they always want to, well, where's the next one? Where can we go? We always recommend here. Mm -hmm. Because across the board, uh, we're trying to get a scholarship for a young lad to come here this year. Uh, and it, I think he's going to be involved with the, with the, with the children or the younger people, um, the youth. He actually is a student of mine who is way beyond his years. He paints like somebody who is 45 years mm. of age. 
or maybe 50, he's got the knowledge and it's quite, I blew me away. So I tried to get him a scholarship here because his family couldn't afford mm -hmm. a great deal. And I'm working on it now with Pam. But that's the sort of thing where you can actually get somebody into something like this that mm -hmm. they're going to benefit from. And the, what they do with the young people here is great. I mean, because that's the next generation of artists, you know. So that's why I support it. And look, come in here. I, I, I come back, and then of course my other reason for coming back is to annoy all the other instructors. <laughs> you know, I like to go around and annoy them all. But outside of that, that's my pleasure. <laughs>